Confirmation is making a promise. It's making a promise. Uh, it's, it's saying, this is what I believe. It's saying, this is what is key to my life and important to me in my life, and this is the foundation upon which I build my life. That's what confirmation is. And so today you come forward uh, to be confirmed to say before the congregation, this is what I believe with all my heart. This is the life that I choose to live. And these are the promises that I make before the Lord in my confirmation. I invite the congregation to please turn in your hymnals to page 272. There you'll find um, the ceremony, I guess you could call it, or the rite of confirmation. <coughs> Beloved in the Lord, and that is each of you in the front row here. Christ said to his apostles, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, <coughs> teaching them to observe all things I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You have been baptized and you have been catechized. And catechized is a fancy way of saying taught. So you've been baptized and taught in the Christian faith according to the Lord's bidding. Jesus said, whoever confesses me before men, I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. So this is what confirmation is. You are confessing before those gathered here today and before God that you believe in Jesus Christ. You believe in his word. You believe in the scriptures. You believe in those things that have been taught to you. So I will... Um, Whoever confesses me before men, I will confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny him before my Father who is in heaven. Therefore, lift up your hearts to the God of all grace and joyfully give answer to what you now ask, to what I now ask in the name of our Lord. So please stand at this time, guys. Approach the altar. Remain standing. And you can recite in unison. Do you this day in the presence of God and of this congregation acknowledge the gifts that God gave you in your baptism? That would be the gift of the forgiveness of your sins. Yes, I do. Do you renounce the devil? Yes, I renounce him. Do you renounce all his works? Yes, I renounce Do you renounce all his ways? Yes, I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty? Yes, I believe in God the Father Almighty. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord? Yes, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died, and was buried. He ascended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and He sits at the right hand of God, the Father of the Lord. From thence He will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Do you hold all of the apostolic and prophetic scriptures to be the inspired word of God? I do. Do you confess the doctrine of the Lutheran Church drawn from the scriptures as you have learned to know it from the small catechism to be faithful and true? I do. Do you intend to hear the word of God and receive the Lord's Supper faithfully in the services of God's house? I, I do, by the grace of God. Do you intend to live according to the word of God and in faith, word, and deed to remain true to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, even to death? I, I do, by the grace of God. Do you intend to continue steadfast in this confession and church and to suffer all, even death, rather than fall away from it. I do, by the grace of God. We rejoice with thankful hearts that you have been baptized and have received the teaching of the Lord. You have confessed the faith and have been absolved of your sins. As you continue to hear the Lord's word and to receive his blessed sacrament, he who has begun a good work in you will bring it to completion in the day of Jesus Christ. And the whole church says, Amen. Amen. I'll have you kneel at this time.
Marianne Schinzel, the Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you the new birth of water and the Spirit, and has forgiven you all of your sins, strengthen you with his grace to life everlasting. Dylan Tomzak, the Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you the new birth of water and the Spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, strengthen you with his grace to life everlasting. James Schinzel, the Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you the new birth of water and the Spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, Strengthen you with his grace to life everlasting. Mary Petak, the Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you the new birth of water and the Spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, strengthen you with his grace to life everlasting. Jack Schinzel, the Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you the new birth of water and the Spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, strengthen you with his grace to life everlasting. Amen. You may stand. Go ahead and face the audience. They are confirmed. For each and every one of you, I have a special gift. Um, it's the same thing for each of you. It is a gift that was actually given to me. It was given to me by a parishioner at the first church I served back in uh, Washington State. And this person brought this to me, and she felt that this is something that I could use in my ministry and in my life. And I don't know if you can't see it, but hopefully you'll be able to see it at some point in time for everybody. It's a picture of Christ holding his sheep, okay? And you'll notice a couple of details in this painting. First of all, there is a sheep and it has wounds. It's wounded, and Christ holds it. You'll notice another detail, there's a very dark spot, and there's a wolf. Now that wolf <coughs> represents the enemy of our souls, Satan, who we believe is live and active within our world. Christ is the one who protects us from all the dangers that exist within this world. And when we are wounded by the enemy of our souls, Christ is always there to take us and to hold us and to bring healing to us. So take this as a gift. Actually, it's from a lady named Helen Baker in Marysville, Washington. And we also have other gifts for you. Go ahead and take a seat at this time. Yeah, you go ahead and hand it. That'd be great. All right, Mary Ann Schinzel, coming up here. Mary I'll take the bottom one first. Mary, here is your certificate of confirmation. And this year, for each and every one of the students, I chose Bible verses. Each and every one of them have a special Bible verse that's just for them. And um, I went through a list of probably about 300 verses. And it took me all of one of my afternoons this last week uh, to do that. And I went through prayerfully. And I chose a verse for each and every one of you. First of all, I actually chose five verses for each of you. And then I whittled it down to one verse for each and every one of you. So Mary, your confirmation verse is this from Philippians 1.6. I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. And another gift that I have for you too is a leather-bound copy of Luther's Small Catechism. There you go. Thank you. Dylan Tomzak. Dylan, the verse that I chose for you is from Romans 1 16 through 17 there the apostle Paul says for I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes first to the Jew then to the Gentile for in the gospel the righteousness of God is revealed a righteousness that is by faith from first to last 
just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Thank you, Dylan. Here's your copy of the Catechism. James Schinzel. James is the oldest. <laughs> yep. But he was, he was great down in class. Uh, huge blessing to me in my life. Uh, Jim, uh, the verse I chose from you is Colossians 2, 6 through 7. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your life in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened into the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Here's your copy of the <laughs> Mary Pita. The verse I chose for you is 1 Timothy 6.12. There the Apostle Paul writes, Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses, which was actually one of our readings today, too. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. And last but not least, Jack Shinzel. I think you're almost taller than me. <laughs> Galatians 2.20 is your verse. Here the Apostle Paul writes, I have been crucified with Christ, mm -hmm. and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. There you go, friend. Yeah. And there's your small catechism. Thank you so much. Let's get to the confirmation class one more time. And it was Jim Schinzel who encouraged me to give verses. He says, I want you to give me a verse for when I graduate. And I've never had anybody say that to me before. And I said, I'll do it for each and every one of you. So I think this you started a new tradition here uh, for me in my ministry of giving each individual a special verse. So let us pray together. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for your great goodness in bringing these, your sons and daughters, to the knowledge of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and enabling them both uh, with the heart to believe and with the mouth to confess his saving name. Grant that bringing forth the fruits of faith, they may continue steadfast and victorious to the day when all who have fought the good fight of faith shall receive the crown of righteousness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. One day, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with each and every one of you. So with you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.